Let it continue playing, Dawn of War 2. We've done a bit of equipment swapping here. Basically, I've taken the flamer out. I've gone back to the plasma cannon, heavy bolter. We've decided that over the rocket launcher is... It's a little diff awkward, this one, but it does give the additional loadout, which gives us the melters and the um, orbital strikes. They're going to be important. Cyrus, we're going to keep in the mission for the moment. The temptation to use um, Thaddeus is there. But to be honest, at this point, with the 27 armor gained by that, I think the scouts are a better option at this point. We shall see how that proves to be, but um, that's how we're going to go. Commander, the Eldar seem intent on crippling Meridian's infrastructure. They have just silenced a major communications array used by Meridian's noble houses. Valuable items were also pilfered from nearby storage vaults. A powerful Eldar hover tank is leading these attacks, and the Imperial Guard has thus far been unable to stop it. If these raids continue, planetary defenses could be seriously compromised. Very well, so let's go and deal with some Eldar. Now they have got a um, fire prism apparently in this mission, so that's why we've gone for the more guns, because honestly the assault marines are not going to be very useful against them. I could have given them the melts, have helped, but... We shall see how things go. One thing we want to do is try and save a planetary um, strike for um, later on. So, here we go. Stay alert. Yeah, deployed. Our strike without warning. And that's my phone going off. Okay. So, Scouts we have something that needs to be dealt with there. Let's have a grenade in. Yeah, we probably didn't want you to do that. Grenade goes in. Boom. Right, take out the Elder. I possibly mentioned this before, but I love this bit of music. The anti-Eldar music, as it probably is. Running into the commander. That's a good plan. I greatly approve your plan. Okay. So yeah, let's go down there and deal with the warp spider and things. Devastators from range, and in fact, if I put the focus fire on, they'll have slightly longer range. Let's get down there. Unwavering Fury. Get the capturing. That's the squad. So we need that. Whatever that was. Uh, soaring Truth. Okay. Devastator has moved down. Just trying to work out things at the moment. That's somewhere we need to go. Oh, they are suppressed. We can just go and kill them here. I think we're going to go for the shrine since it's on route, although I, I think I should probably consider, I don't know. Alright, let's have our, our artillery strike down. Should hopefully wound that enough. Now I just need to take that out. The squad, certainly. Alright, Cyrus. Let's have, a, let's have one in. Scouts need to get out of there, actually. Scouts back to the point. Commander, why don't you help out at, at the combat point, you know, just where it'd be useful. Right, so that works okay. Oh, flash grenade. Scouts, get on there. Darn it. Alright, so one energy generator is down. We have two more to go. We're going to have to take these out before they spawn some more dudes. There's one. Commander needs to move and attack there. In fact, it's going to take some healing now, actually. Giant Halo is useful, but we'll save that for when we need it. Let's go and take them out. And go for it. Yeah, the commander should be able to deal with that last scout by himself. The scout. They're not scouts, but they are really. 
the last ranger by himself. Okay. Two down. Let's go for this point now. Yeah, we'll grab this, head our way round. I should probably go for the shrine at this point. I don't know. No, we will go shrine, actually. Commander, go and grab ourselves some items. Also, I've just noticed I used my only one of that. Right. Now that we grabbed all that, we're going to go grab the shrine. No desk as of yet. Uh, we got the difficult bit still to go. Oh, the, um, they decided to follow us. Well, the scouts have no resistance up here. I might as well go and nab it. In fact, there is no resistance up there, which I'm amazed at. Where the devastators go? This is Abitus, brothers. Yeah, in position, please. Rest of this should be deep. Ah, thank you. Here you go. Field generators are deploying now, Commander. Right, scouts, position. Additional generators will not be available until your next deployment. Roar of truth has arrived. Yep, thank you, Commander. You should really probably be charging them, actually. But, you know. That would be simple. Right, let's go for this then. Cyrus, we're going to need one of these there. Boom! Right, here comes the difficult bit now. Let's go for an iron halo. This is what I, prepared, this is what I saved it for. And we'll have some melter bombs like that if we can. Right, Fire Prism gone. Commander needs to... We need to back up a bit here. Commander gets back in his position. Health, please. Health, please. Health, please. Thank you. To victory. That should get you out of trouble. trouble for now at least. Okay. We of course do have the, res the blessing of fortitude so we can go invulnerable if we need to. But we should be okay from here I think. I just needs to get focus fired and get killing things I think. Come on. Thank you. Right. Weapon guard. That's the warp gate we need to kill, actually, before that. Superior Dreadnought plating's arrived. We still haven't had a Dreadnought arrive, but, you know. Damn it. Scatter kill. We'll go for another grenade. Alright, doing okay. few more grab tanks and things around. There are still other points. That's the last one, which is the last of the enemy um, enemy generators. This is a bit more than raiders, but you can see why the um, Imperial Guard couldn't have done with this. Okay, goes down. Off we go. Right, so we'll go back and nab this. Kill them, actually, while we're at it. Definitely need something other than a heavy bolter with you. I don't think the rocket would have been all that useful, but still, something was needed. Stab. Alright, go grab this last point then, which is there. Grenade there, please, sir. And Tarkus. And two victory over there. Now they really weren't defending this place at all. Which is perfectly fine. That's how we like it. But we would like it more if there were some of those... Um, are they Lehman Russ classes? Or are they actually... No, they must be Lehman Russes, I think. 
I still have any reason why they might have some Space Marine tanks. This is the base of manufacturing world, so it's possible they would have things, but you'd assume they'd be leaving Russes or Chimeras. These seem to be more the Space Marine variant of them for whatever reason. Actually, if I remember rightly, there's a reason for that, but we'll come to that later. Or the reason why that might be, certainly. Beyond the fact that this probably is produced here somewhere. Right, Cyrus, we'll have another demo charge there, please. Everything needs to move there and go focus fire. Done it, that didn't work. Alright, need to help. Need to help the guys out here. Scouts onwards. <laughs> Boom. Continuing on. So that's the main point we need now. Got another demo charge left us there, but the rest can just go and shoot the squads. Mana can just go towards. Oh, we lost the scout. Okay, we don't mind losing one scout. We can recover that very shortly. We're actually quite near the um, point where we can do that. Alright, in we go. See with you being okay here, Cyrus. See, he just generally is more useful than uh, Faddis, I suppose, but Faddis can get himself out of situations better than Cyrus. Certainly, if he didn't have the armor, we'd be in a bit of trouble now. Alright, grenade there, please. Scouts still need to take that for us, please. Commander could go and... Oh, tank! Never say this, take out the tank. Oh, whoa. Some help near needed. Good thing is the scouts are basically immune there. How are we doing over here? Not well. Let's go nab a heal. Melter bomb, please. And goodbye, mobile grab tank, which really did not attempt to be mobile. And moving on. There's another one down there. Another one there. And focus fire. Right, take some immunity now because we're going to need it. And activate the iron halo. Okay, Tactical and Devastator are in trouble. They need to retreat back to here, I think. Our well, scouts need to do something about them. Let's have some healing. I need those two to get to safety. Scouts, help out here! Now the Devastators can go. Despair of Heretics. Activate that. We do have the energy to probably keep that on for the rest of it, but you know, we might as well. Ugh. Don't like their tanks. We need something. We need tanks of our own, actually, is what we actually need. So we can't take this place yet because we don't have the field generators, but we can go and nab all of the items. Oh, something's following us. Hello, Mr. Secretive Ranger Bloke. Because you have to do a lot to earn your place here. Like kill forty thousand Eldar. That's fine. We're not interested in field generators. Right, Cyrus, your job. Nuke it. 
Everybody else's job. Kill it. Uh, no, Cyrus, you, um, you kind of have to move a bit closer. Got him. Oh, they decided that's the end of the mission. Okay, fair enough. We still got people to kill, but you know, we killed the fire prism, we killed everybody else. Had a couple of close calls, but we get a superior combat shotgun for our trouble. 93% of the kills, all the squads stayed alive. It was not particularly quick, though. And we don't hold any of the foundries, so no increased additional performance towards um, deployments. Which, yeah, it's fine. We, we, I think I prefer to get the um, temporary vulnerabilities as useful. Benetio of House Toral passes on his thanks, Commander. He looks forward to the recovery of his stolen goods and the repair of the damaged array. Is this liaison unaware that a Tyranid Hive fleet is descending upon this sector? We are currently reviewing the full extent of the Tyranid threat, Sergeant. We have yet to find evidence that Meridian is in any real danger. Derosa out. The fact Imperium tech priests have been working to restore an ancient astronomical array deep in the jungles of Typhon. If reports are accurate, this array is capable of detailed scans of an entire subsector. This data could allow us to uncover a critical weakness in the Hive fleet. We will have to make contact with the tech priests at their base camp on Typhon and ask for the location. Commander, Captain Angelos here. You must defend the capital world and secure Angel Forge. It will all be for naught, however, if we cannot develop weapons with which to attack the hive mind itself. You must locate and secure the astronomical yes, we do know all this. on planet Typhon. You must also obtain a sample of the hive fleet's biotoxins. Angelos out. Lots of stuff to do. A lot of stuff to do. So let's have a quick look at how things are standing at the moment. So Calderas has gone up to four. Primus will go up to six now. Leads to the array. We've then got Calderas, which is Gene Sample, Gene Sample, and then we've got the Meridian Angel Forge. No defense missions at this point. Hmm. Trying to think on this one. I think probably... Calderas is probably the more important one to go for here, although we're fighting orcs at that point, so it's not going to lower. It's not going to lower anything if we go there. That being said, let me set a power fist to be quite useful here at this point. Anyway, this is all considerations for future because I've now this is now where the game gets a little more interesting. I've got to decide where I'm splitting up. Um, do -do -do -do, removes all health regeneration. Oh, that's not nice. All health regeneration is not nice at all, unfortunately. In fact, that's so not nice we're not even going to use it. We're going to convert it. Um, plus one to all combat. Negative armor racing, that's what that is. We don't want that. Plus 9% melee damage, plus 42% health. That seems perfectly suitable. Uh, plus 4 melee skill. That should probably go on to Thaddeus at some point. If he can have it, which he should be able to. And that means that that can now be converted. So we have the teleporter. We have the uh, level 9 iron halo. Which comparatively gives us energy regeneration. I think we're probably okay with what we got, to be honest. Right. Anyway, we're going to up our will slightly here. In fact, I'm going to up my will double, because we want that extra commander slot. And regained energy when killing an enemy. That's probably useful enough. Same thing is probably going to happen for the tactical squad as well. Getting the additional accessory slots to basically have things like this available easily for us. Uh, in the meantime, on this, armor of victory is definitely an improvement. And that's probably can be converted now. That is, gets a level. I think the Devastators are going to go up to their rockets now. Do another conversion. Nothing really I can afford to put on there for them. Oh, but they do lose their accessory slot. But we can improve that now by getting that back. 
And since the Devastators are defences, I'm probably going to give them the um, the Tarantula turrets and the um, and that, and I can give the Melter bombs to the Scouts, I think. Although we lose the we lose that for it is the only downside. But I can do that instead. Okay, that's probably a better that's probably a better way of doing this. Just means I have to remember we got that available at some stage. Right, and one point remaining, so more shooting skill, please. Uh, meanwhile, over here, you could actually have some more melee skill, and that gives you an extra accessory slot, which could be useful. 9% range damage, 28 energy, but it's a reduction in overall armor effectiveness, and I'm reluctant to do that. So that can be converted. Um, superior shotgun is level 12, no level requirements. And a lot more damage. We go with that. Righteous Wisdom can go away for now. So can the Sniper. Right. So yeah, your level I think is going to be combat based. It's 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 fine. We'll work something out with this. We want the accessory slots. We want them to be able to do more things. In the meantime... Uh, temporarily invulnerable upon the jump. This is probably something I need to consider. But we're going to take the Power Weapon Aptitude. Except we don't actually have any power weapons. No, the health is important for now. Right, so that's the things done. We have to debate our mission now, and note the things are going to get worse before they get better, I think. Until next time.